Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. This guy in the peerless hat, that's Dustin. I'm the bourbon guy. He's a bourbon guy. The fuck? What? Well, first of all, that hat kind of looks goofy on you. <laughs> Why for you be making fun of my hat? Yes, Elmer Pyle. Or El, uh, what? Pyle. Elmer Pyle? Elmer, that's what I was looking what for. about Jethro? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you're the... I'm the bourbon guy. But I got Buffalo Trace shirt. Yeah, I know. Anyway. I'm Dustin. I'm the bourbon guy. He's Keith. He's the... I can do my gazendas. The bourbon guy. You're the music guy. Hey, guys. We got Woodford. Y'all have seen us do Woodford. But mm -hmm. why are we doing this one? It's a bribe. Bourbon bribe. Thank you. Uh, this one's from Carter. Carter, yeah. So, appreciate it, Carter. We got a Woodford here. What song did Carter want us to listen to with this one? So, um, this is apparently Graham Parsons, so, and the song has a little bit of an ominous title, Return of, Return the, of the Grievous Angel. What is that? Uh, I don't know if we're talking about apocalyptic shit here, or what's okay. going on there? country song? I, I've heard the first two notes. Okay, and they sounded country? They sounded country to me. Okay. Well, I'll crack so, open the Woodford. Let's get right. into the song. Uh, real quick, Woodford, if you don't know, sits at 90.4 proof, and this is just their... This, it's their regular juice, distiller select, right? This is the stuff that we recommend. If you're not into bourbon, yeah. get this. This the, Yeah, this is one of our it, staples. starters. Yeah. yeah, and it's a staple. That's true. All right, so let's check out some Graham Parsons. Want to scratch my head sweet Annie Rich And welcome me back to town Come out on your porch or step into your parlor And I'll tell you how it all went down Out with the truckers and the kickers and the cowboy angels And a good saloon in every single town I haven't figured out what this song's about yet. That's what I was going to ask. But I'm not surprised. Do you hear a kazoo? A kazoo? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know what a kazoo is. Let's I'll, back it I'll up. back up just a touch and see if you hear a kazoo. Across those prairies with those waves of gray. From Cheyenne to Tennessee We flew straight across that river bridge Last night at best two Switchman waved his lantern to find the day As we went rolling through Billboards and truck stops passed by the grievous angel now I know just what I have to do. Pick it for me, Jane. Steel guitar and fiddle. I'm loving the music in this. Figure out what the fuck the song's about, though. I 
giant Tennessee. The news I could bring, I met up with the king on his head and a penny crown. Talked about a book when that old Bible built and lighted out for some desert town. Out with the truckers and the kickers and the cowboy angels. And a good salute in every single town. Oh, but I remembered something you once told me. Backup vocals are awesome. Did you figure out the message? Well, it seemed like the message is you're going to come back to the girl, right? But it sounded like it was coming from like an over the road truck driver. It, it felt like that to me, too. Mm hmm. But you know how else it could have applied? Could have applied to a Hell's Angel. Okay. Right? Yeah, (laughs) that kind of fits. I think it's probably about a trucker, but it was never, uh, to my knowledge, explicitly stated that the Grievous Angel was like the name of his truck or something. I don't know what the Grievous Angel is, so maybe they can enlighten us. I'm hoping they will, because I'm confused. Yeah. I mean, I like the song musically, and I think the core of the message of, you know, coming so home to her is... Is the goal. Yeah. So, but I don't know what a grievous angel is. Well... Unless it's on the back of a, you know, three-piece patch. Maybe. Yeah, it's a middle patch. Or it's like a hood or ornament, maybe. Do any of the trucks have manufacturers have an angel on them? I was wondering that. When I think of angels, I think of Rolls Royce. Right. On the, yeah. the big fucking. Mm. Yeah. That's because I was like, what's that one? No, that's not. That's not right. So you mentioned the music is good. Mm-hmm. There were par- parts of it for me that I was like, it doesn't sound quite right. And. The, the backup vocals you commented on. While I thought she was good, I didn't feel like she harmonized with him very well. I think that I took that to be intentional. I heard what you're talking about. Yeah. Because they were on slightly different keys. All right. And I think that was intentional. Okay. So um, a, a lot of musicians at the specific points in a song Mm -hmm. will intentionally infuse uh, a little dissonance. Okay. Because it, it, it does impart an emotion when you hear that dissonance. Okay. Usually not a particularly pleasant emotion. They, they started out with it at the very beginning of the song though. And it was like, I was like, that just doesn't, it wasn't, it wasn't doing it for me. I did like her voice and his voice didn't match up well for me. I think that was creative intent. Okay. That's entirely possible. I, I think it because both of them clearly could hit any note they wanted. Right. And I felt like she... This is... I'm going to say something stupid. Well, so let's look at it from this perspective. Let me say something stupid first. Okay. And then we can you can fix it. <laughs> Part of me thinks... And I'm totally wrong, I guarantee it. But... So he had a good voice. Mm-hmm. It almost felt like he's like he let his girlfriend sing in the song with him. All right, so let's look at that dissonance, okay? And let's give him a, the benefit of the doubt that it's intentional. One could easily assume that him being home 
would be a point of contention between them. Because he's never home? And women tend to not be happy about that. Yeah, sometimes. Our women are like, go do boy things. Not for not four for months. Him. True, true, true. Right? true. they would be like, the hell is wrong with you? So it's possible that that's symbolic. Now that may be me overthinking. You're being deep now. Nah, see, he's it, the music guy. I told you. It may be me overthinking. Yeah, could be. And, and actually, you guys know this stuff. We don't. So, so tell us. Enlighten us. Yeah, I, I want to know one. What the hell is the grievous angel? Please. Is is it the patch? Is it a truck? Is it a another symbol that we don't know about? And, and two was that, and I, I know that was intentional. Is that intentional uh, dissonance? trying to bring up that conflict between him and her good question yeah so what can you say about woodford um nom 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 oh it's freaking good it's (laughs) it's cinnamon it's caramel it's available it's freaking everywhere it's delicious and it's always the same it it, yes it always tastes exactly like this yeah um this has this was one of the bourbons that pulled me into bourbon same no shit same you know how i went for a tour I was like, well, let's go see how they make bourbon. I didn't freaking really drink it. I did that too. But then also, Andrea, y'all know Andrea by now. <clears throat> so Woodford is not a cheap bourbon. But it's nah, also... That's, that's about 45 bucks right there. Uh, yeah, about that. But it's also not a super expensive bourbon, right? So it's kind of right there in the middle of the road. It's not super cheap. It's not super expensive. She used this... And her blackberry bourbon lemonade. Which is some deadly shit. Because it is delicious. You can't taste the alcohol. And everything, it's all fresh. It's not like she like goes out and buys this blackberry lemonade juice and pours it with this. No, she makes blackberry simple syrup. She makes her own lemonade that goes in a big thing together and then you all get drunk. It will kill you if you're not careful. It's so good. <laughs> the best summertime drink. Yeah, yeah. It's so good, but... Woodford. Uh, I mean, there's really nothing to say other than this is one of our... You guys ask us quite often in the comments, what's a good starter bourbon? This is a go-to for us. 40 bucks? Like, you know, 40, 45 bucks, depending really on where you are. Smooth, good, quintessential bourbon. With, um, which, for me, works really well. Bourbon, or um, Woodford uses mm. a relatively high uh, rye content in their mash bill. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I remember 25% from the tour. I don't recall, but it's definitely not on the bottle either. No, no. Um, they're not secretive about it. Uh, they have it on a giant wall on their Do you get any tour. chocolate or is it just me tonight? Just you tonight. I'm getting some chocolate on the rear palate. No. But this is what you're looking for. Distiller Select. It's their basic juice. and You can get it at Costco. Yep. You can get a bigger bottle than this at Costco for $45. Yeah. That's a, and this yeah. is this is seven fifty, so it's like it's a handle. Yeah. So hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, one get in the comments, tell us what the hell we just listened to, please. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Yep. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. And while you're in the comments, tell us what songs we need to listen to, what bourbons we need to drink, and if you want to propel your song in front of the regular voters, uh, go ahead and be like uh, Carter. Be like Carter and send us a bride. Thank you, Carter. Yep. Thanks. We we love Woodford, so yeah. we appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right. Blackberry Bird Lemonade. <laughs> Till next time. Oh, my guys. Mind, no.